Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German Grammar. In this video, we'll be dealing with the preposition zu and you'll be learning when to use zu, zum oder zur. We'll be doing a few examples and in the end there will be a small exercise. You can download a free worksheet based on this lesson from our page on patreon.com. So let's begin. Zu, zum oder zur. Let's first look at a few examples. Hast du ein Papier zum Schreiben? Wie weit ist es von hier zur Post? Wir fahren bald zu euch. So first we learn when to use the preposition zu, die Präposition zu. The most important thing about the preposition zu is that it's a dative preposition. That means any article that is placed after this preposition will be a dative article. If you want to revise dative article, you can do so by watching our video on the same. The link is given below. So here's the first example for zu. Ich fahre zu Peter. When you're talking about going to a person, you would use the preposition zu. Now since Peter does not have an article, you will just simply use zu. The next example is similar. Ich gehe zu meinen Eltern. In this case, meine Eltern will change to meinen Eltern because zu is a dative preposition. Here are some other examples where you would use only zu. Sie müssen 20 Minuten zu Fuß gehen. Also with Haus, you would say Heute bleibt sie zu Hause. Here's another example. Wann geht der Film zu Ende? Some phrases are to be learned as it is. For example, zu Ende gehen or zu Fuß gehen. Zu is also used with specific occasions. Wir fahren zu Ostern nach Italien. You can also talk about other occasions such as zu Weihnachten. So, zu as a preposition is being used basically when there is no article used for a noun. For example, with names of people. Or when you are using a possessive article. For example, zu meinen Eltern. Or with a personal pronoun, zu dir. We just discussed that the preposition zu is dative. That means the article placed after it will be a dative article. So, any noun with the article der oder das will change to dem. When zu and dem come together, you can either say zu dem or zum. Let's look at a few examples. Heute muss ich zum Arzt. As just discussed, that when you are talking about persons, you would use the preposition zu. Now since Arzt has an article there, it will change to dem. Zu plus dem will give you zum Arzt. Here's an example of a noun that has an article das. Kannst du mich zum Büro fahren? In this case, das Büro will change to dem Büro. Zu plus dem will give you zum Büro. Zu as a preposition is also used when you are talking about quantity. For example, die Äpfel habe ich zum halben Preis gekauft. Other example could be zu 3%, zu 1 Euro, etc. Here's another example where zu changes to zum. Kommt ihr heute zum Abendessen? The article for Abendessen is das, which changes to dem. Zu plus dem will give you zum Abendessen. Let's look at the next example. Er ist zum Training 
auf den Sportplatz gegangen. The preposition zu is being used here with an activity. Other examples could be zum Schreiben, zum Essen, zum Trinken, etc. All these nouns emerge from their verbs. Hence, they will have the article das, which will change to dem in dative. The preposition zu is mostly used with the verbs gehen, fahren, etc. Other prepositions that could be used with these verbs are nach and in. Sometimes these create a confusion. To get a clarity on when to use which preposition, you can watch our video on the same nach, zu oder in. The link is given below. Now let's see when to use zur. Since zu is a dative preposition, if the noun following it is a feminine noun, the article the will change to der. Zu and der, when they come together, you can either say zu der or you just say zur. Here are a few examples. Sie geht zur Schule. The article for Schule is the, which changes to der with a dative preposition. Zu and der will change to zur Schule. Here's an example of another person. Ich fahre zur Oma. You could also say, Ich fahre zu meiner Oma. We just also learned that zu can be used with occasions. If the occasion has an article the, then you would use zur. For example, zur Hochzeit haben sie viele Geschenke bekommen. Here is another example for zur. Zur Erfrischung haben sie eine Limonade getrunken. So there are a lot of contexts where you could use the preposition zu. You should be sure about the article that is being used after that. Only then you would know when to use zu, zum oder zur. Now let's do a small exercise to see how much you have learned. Übung You have to fill in the blank with zu, zum oder zur. Let's look at the first one. Since the article for Bank is the, your answer should be Fährst du zur Bank? Here's the next one. Friseur is also a person just like Arzt. The article is der. Hence, your answer should be Ich denke, du solltest zum Friseur gehen. Here's the third one. And your answer should be Was macht ihr zu Weihnachten? We are not using an article here because with most religious occasions you just use zu. When you're talking of other occasions then you would use an article. For example zum Geburtstag, zur Hochzeit, etc. Let's move on to the next one. The article for Frühstück is das, which will change to dem, and zu plus dem will give you zum. Hence, your answer should be Sie trinkt einen Kaffee zum Frühstück. If you want to practice some more, you can download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. Great! Hope you enjoyed this lesson. To learn about other dative prepositionen, you can watch our video on the same. The link can be found below in the description. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. You can click on the bell to receive notifications whenever a new video is uploaded. 
If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen!